This is the tutorial for adding and subtracting with decimals. A lot of you did just fine on the adding and subtracting with decimals when um, each number had the decimal in the same spot, but when the decimals were in different spots, then, um, then there was some confusion, so I want to help clarify that and fix that up. Okay, and so the, really the problem we had with this one was just the lining up part because when you add or subtract with decimals, you have to line the $1 up with the $1 and the 10 cents up with the 10 cents and the pennies up with the pennies. So in this case, um, I have 2.6, which would be the same as $2 in the because there's two in the ones place and 60 cents because there's a six in the tenths place, the dimes place. So um, 2.6. Then I have $1 and... 37 cents. What was happening was we had some people do this and they lined up the edges and with multiplication yes we do that and we don't worry about how these decimals line up but when we are working with um, adding and subtracting with the decimals all the place values all the numbers um, and the place values have to add up. So the hundredths place, the pennies place have to line up. And if there's not one sitting there, I can go ahead and put one. Only on the outsides that aren't sandwiched in. I cannot stuff it in between here. Some people tried to stuff that zero here and bump that six over. 60 cents is different than six cents. We don't want to change the number. Okay, that won't erase, so I'm stuck with it. All right, so once we've lined up the place values, it's just normal addition, and that was fine. Everybody was doing that okay. 0 plus 7 is 7, 6 plus 3 is 9. Um, another thing some people forgot is bring that decimal down. You've got to put the decimal in the answer. So bring it down, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So the answer is 3.97. Okay, here's another example. Um, this is a subtract problem, so we do need to line them up. I had put on your tests the from the song line the song I had before line them up. So when you're adding and subtracting with decimals, make sure you line them up. I think the best way for me to to remember it was um, we learned to add and subtract when we we're very young, like in elementary school. And so we um, in elementary school the kids line up in straight little lines and they walk all in straight little lines. So they line up, and then the more difficult math like multiplication is. Um, more like middle schoolers where we don't really line up we kind of go on a blob so um, so if that helps you remember that when you add or subtract it's like elementary school they line them all up and go in a very straight line walk on that yellow line right so we may need to make sure that all of our place values line up because this one is subtraction so we have four dollars and 32 cents we have a one in the ones place so put it under the ones place we have the decimal there put it under the decimal and four dimes, four in the tenths place, so we put four in the tenths place. I do not show anything in the pennies place, that's okay. I can just go ahead and put something there for the pennies, zero for the pennies. And now I subtract. Two take away zero is two, three take away four, I can't do it, I need to borrow. Thirteen take away four is nine, and three take away one is two. So the answer is 2.92. Okay, and this will be you do number one. Be sure to line them up. Be really neat about it. It's really important to be nice and neat when you're working with decimals on all of the decimal work. So you're doing 4.35 plus 1.7. Go ahead and push pause and do that problem and get an answer. When you have an answer, push play to see if you got it correct. Okay, so you have finished that problem. You have some sort of an answer, so I'll go ahead and do it. We have 4.35. Then um, this is in the ones place, and that's in the ones place, so I put it right underneath in ones place. My decimal lines up, and three is in the tens place, and seven is in the tenths place. So I'm going to put seven there in the tenths place, that's seven dimes. And there are no pennies showing up here. There's five pennies on this guy, but there's no pennies here, so I'm just going to say no pennies. And I'm adding that together. 5 plus 0, 5. 3 plus 7 is 10. Make sure to drop down that decimal. 4 plus 1 is 5 plus that carryover is 6. You should have gotten 6.05 or $6.05.
Okay, one more you do. This is you do number two. Go ahead and work this problem through and pause the video and then once you have it, an answer, push play to see how you did. So now you have gone ahead and gotten an answer on this. So I would start in subtraction, of course. It's important that you stay in the order that it's in. Oops, I didn't want to circle it. I just wanted the pointer. Um, we do 4.2 is what we started with, and this is what's being taken away. In addition, we can go in any order. I could have started with this and put this underneath it. But in subtraction, if that one's first, that one's on top. That's the amount you started with. So I start with a 4.2. Two or four dollars and twenty cents, two dimes there, right? Then I'm um, subtracting, so I need to make sure to line them up. So I have in the ones place the four, and in the ones place over here the three. That's three dollars. The decimal, and I have one dime and one penny. Over here I had a no pennies, so I can say that I had no pennies, and I'm subtracting. So now in that hundredths place, the pennies place, I've got zero pennies, I need to take one away from that. Well, I don't have any to take away from that, so I'm going to go borrow, just like I did before. Take that dime and break it into ten pennies. Ten take away one is nine. One dime take away one dime is zero. Four dollars take away three dollars is one. One dollar and nine cents should have been the correct answer that you got. If you got those correct, go ahead and move on to those practice uh, problems on your tutorial. If you're still getting those incorrect and you're not sure why, um, come see me about this so I can help you with a few more.